And we're back here at Braves Camp. I'm Kevin McAlvin with 680 The Fans. Continuing coverage of Spring Training 2020. Today is Saturday, March the 7th. Braves getting ready to take on their closest rival down the road, the Tampa Bay Rays here at Cool Today Park. It's a 1 o'clock first pitch with Mike fulton Nevich on the mound. We'll tell you all about what to look for here in just a couple of moments. Braves coming off a 7-5 win over the Red Sox here yesterday in front of another capacity crowd here in Northport. Kyle Wright started yesterday's ball game, worked three and a third innings, gave up a couple of earned runs, uh, walked two and struck out five. But through three outings this spring, two, two of those came in relief. Kyle Wright has been outstanding. Eight and a third innings worth of work for the young right-hander. He's given up just two earned runs. Both of those came in yesterday's outing. He's uh, struck out 12 of the 32 batters he's faced here in spring, really making a big impression on the coaching staff to say the least. They really like what they've seen from a maturity standpoint. Yesterday, uh, talking to Kyle after the game, he said, look, I didn't have my two-seamer. I didn't have a feel of my fastball. So I went to my changeup, went to my breaking ball a lot earlier on. And a matter of fact, all five of those strikeouts yesterday came on his breaking ball. So I think Kyle Wright this time last year may not have had the wherewithal to uh, just abandon his two-seamer and go to his strengths. That's what we saw in yesterday's outing. And it was certainly another step in the right direction for the young right-hander, uh, Kyle Wright, who's looking to win a spot in this Braves rotation to start the year. Let's talk about a couple of the highlights on the mound. Other than Kyle Wright, we saw another scoreless outing out of Chris Martin. Of course, he's a guy that uh, the Braves will rely heavily on in late game situations. Same can be said about Shane Green, who really needed a good outing. He got one yesterday, two innings worth of work. He struck out three batters, uh, but the fact that he was able to go back out there and give the Braves that second inning worth of work that's going to be important this year when you think about that three batter minimum uh, rule that will be instilled here in 2020. Matter of fact, we're going to see that implemented here next week once uh, the games, uh, once we get to March the 12th. Uh, so end of next week is when you're going to see Major League Baseball start enforcing that three batter minimum. And again, nice to know that you have a guy that can get up and down and give you that second inning if you really need to. Uh, so again, a guy who really needed a good outing yesterday, Shane Green, and he got it yesterday. How about offensively? Austin Riley, another homer for him yesterday, gives him two long balls on the spring session, and they both come within the span of the last couple of days. Again, the swing and misses for Austin Riley are down. That is a very encouraging sign to see, and he'll be back in the lineup here once again today. He will DH uh, with Johan Camargo starting at third base. So another opportunity for both those guys to get, uh, you know, probably three at-bats in today's game against the Tampa Bay Rays. Marcelo Zuna, he finally got his elusive first hit of the spring. It was a bloop single to shallow center field that scored Freddie Freeman from first. Now, if you haven't seen this video, uh, go online, go on Twitter. It's all over the place. Uh, Freddie was mic'd up during yesterday's ball game because Chipper Jones was here, and he was in the booth calling the game. So Freddie was wearing an earpiece, uh, had a microphone on him. They could communicate with the booth. Freddie said it's awfully distracting. It's hard enough to hit 95 miles an hour when you don't have people talking in your ear. Uh, but uh, Freddie had some fun with that. He could tell it was a windy day here in Northport. He had a feeling that ball was going to fall. So Freddie scored all the way from first base. So again, if you haven't seen the interaction between Freddie and Chipper, it is hilarious. Make sure you go find it online. Uh, but again, Marcelo Zuna, RBI single, his first hit of the spring. Good to see. And Charlie Culberson, a three-run double in yesterday's ball game as well late in that contest that was uh, gave, gave the Braves some late insurance runs uh, that they would need there as the, the Red Sox made it interesting in that ninth inning. Uh, offensively for the Braves today, we do see uh, Danny Echeverria back in the lineup today. Missed the last couple of days with that oblique injury. Ender Inciarte, who was initially in the lineup for the Braves yesterday, was scratched due to dehydration. He is in the lineup for the Braves here this afternoon. So uh, a couple of good signs on the injury front for the Braves as they get set to take on the Tampa Bay Rays here today. Mike fulton Evans, the 28-year-old right-hander, makes his third start of the spring this afternoon. It has been a tough start for Fulty. His first two appearances, he's given up four earned runs in three and a third. Uh, two of those, uh, two home runs to this point as well. Uh, so Fulty looking to keep the ball in the ballpark. And right now the wind is blowing in from left field. It's a chilly day here in Northport. Uh, so hopefully that plays to uh, Fulty's favor and keep the ball in the ballpark here this afternoon. Uh, the, uh, the Rays will counter with uh, fellow righty uh, Joe Ryan. It is a 1 p.m. first pitch. Uh, Jim Powell and Ben Ingram have the call for you uh, right here on the Braves Radio Network, so hopefully you'll join all of our coverage. And again, make sure you're following everything you need here from Northport and across the state of Florida at 680 The Fan on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.